Welcome back to Rimmod, everybody. Yesterday, we began our adventures by launching two of our unblooded predators, Wolf and Shaman, Shaman, however you want to say it, down to mighty planet Earth. Well, I mean, it's clearly not planet Earth. Whatever it is. They're, they're down on the planet Mortal Point, ready to try and hunt down and become blooded with the greatest prey of all, the big old alien queen. Now, I was thinking, why don't we just go full board early on? Why don't we send... Oh, Scar's apparently working on the spaceship. That's nice. Scanning up the ship bridge. That's very nice of him. Why don't we send Scar and Ye Ye Yita as well down to the planet and just go full predator colony we'll still send them out and do little uh, raiding expeditions you know send them out of the main base but if these guys are overrun by human raiders trying to kick them off the planet that'd be a really anticlimactic way to lose things the difficulty is already extremely high and i worry that the raids are already going to be extremely high difficulty because of course the spaceship counts towards our difficulty level this already all up here counts as stuff that we own so the game is not going to pull any punches when those raids turn up let's send these guys down with uh with obviously some weapons but I'm not going to say anything else besides that. So, one of you, what are you good at then? Melee. I'm going to send this guy down with a Xenomorph Spear as his primary weapon, and then we'll give him like a bow as a sidearm, which seems like a weird way around to do things. And then you are, oh, you're better at melee though. Okay, in that case, change of plan. You get the Xenomorph uh, Tail Spear. You can take the, the Spear Gun, I think, is very good. So we'll take that one with Scar, and then we actually don't have a melee weapon. Now, we could get our Smith to quickly churn some out. Uh, unfortunately, we don't really have many resources left do we which one was the smith again was it oh god did our smith die oh no that's not good um who's our best crafter then we've got uh scar scar is actually our best crafter we could have scar craft another melee weapon quickly before we leave but like i said I i've very specifically given us minimum resources here so that if we want to craft a new weapon we'll have to bring it up here or build our own stuff down on the planet so that's that's entirely down to us really so why don't we craft a weapon then before we leave what do we want to make um no armor. I think that's fair to say. Uh, combi staff, we can make a... What about another combi staff, then? Because it's just a weapon that we need, and, and our other guy is not very good at melee anyway. So I think we'll go for a combi staff very quickly. And that's a 70 wood, but I assume we can make it out of other stuff, too. Um, no, it is just 70 wood, huh? Okay, we'll build one of those when we get to the planet, then. Sod it. All right, never mind. Yeah, fine. So we'll send Scar. We'll send this person with the weapons that I've queued up for them. We'll get this person to obviously take a uh, a, a ranged weapon as well. There. So what have we got right now? What is that? 21 degrees. Breathe the last one. So my God, it's, all, it's always cold on the ships. Somebody said yesterday in the comment section as well that apparently the, the heating for the spaceship, when apparently when you load into a save, it doesn't maintain the temperature or something like that. So you have to wait for the heaters to kick in. In theory, it shouldn't be a problem, but we'll keep an eye on things. Again, we're not playing on the spaceship at all. Once these guys are sent down, that's it. Spaceship is just a starting point for us. So we've got melee. Uh, uh, let's also send you down with a compound bow as well, even though I think it's probably not going to be necessary. That way we can flip. Uh, to be fair, we should keep the compound bow on first, then automatically switch over to the, the weapon when it's relevant. Maybe for hunting, though, we'll have them use that primarily. And you can use the spear rifle, because I think the spear rifle is pretty damn good. So this time we'll send a cargo shuttle instead, then. So let's load a group, and we'll send... We can send a personal shuttle down as well, if we want. That's a bit weird. We'll send Scar, and we will send uh, Yita. Okay, there we go. Uh, hopefully they'll get equipped first though before they leave. Okay, or not. Haha, <laughs> great. Okay, let's grab that one and then let's head down and help out our friends. Try and build a natural decent base. They're under attack. What are they fighting? A tortoise! Now, apparently, here's what I didn't know. Someone commented yesterday saying that apparently there are blooding mechanics already in the game. So, we can... Uh, they better not have. I thought he was getting a weapon. Oh, he's on, he's on the ship after he's got his weapon. Very nice. So, contents. We've got Scar. We've got Yita. They both clearly got their weapons there. Let's launch this group down onto the planet. So, let's drop them uh, back to that small predator hunting camp we set up there. Uh, and we'll set the ship down somewhere relatively close to the base. But we don't want to, you know, necessarily put a massive target on about there. Goodbye, little spaceship. Okay. So, apparently, the way the blooding mechanics work, then, uh, I didn't actually realize there were blooding mechanics. I was just doing it as a scenario. But it turns out it's actually in the game, too, which is awesome. There is a way that uh, when we kill sufficiently big enough prey, apparently... Oh, we can throw it. That's cool. When we kill something sufficiently big enough, so like, um, for example, let's go to our colonists here. So this guy killed a human archer. That allowed him to be blooded. This person killed a Yorkshire bad blood, which is like a, a, a predator gone evil. Uh, this one killed an elephant. This one killed a mega spider. Those all count as prey. And you can upgrade it depending on the largest thing you've, you've killed. So as far as I know, the biggest thing that we can possibly kill is the alien queen. We could however, because there are rhinos on the map, we could always try and kill a rhino. Oh, they're elephants, sorry. We could kill some elephants and blood these guys immediately, but that's not very much prestige to just kill an elephant, is it? We are still here to kill that alien queen, after all. We've got to be the best of the best. So we'll set up a permanent predator base here, 
uh, with with some... Okay, and we're not going to go as, as crazy as we obviously have with the spaceship, but we'll build ourselves a bit more of a sophisticated base than this, and then we'll build lots of other smaller camps close to important targets. So like the human city, which we should probably try and work at, wipe out pretty early on, like the... Uh, I should say the human settlement, because there are, of course, cities on the map now. So we'll, we'll try and build one closer to the city over here. I believe there's another abandoned city somewhere as well that, yeah, like up here, might take a long time to get through, but we could, uh, we could go and get some nice resources from that. Or, uh, you know, alternatively, we could use these spaceships that we bought down if we could find the fuel for it. So I think we need chem fuel or uranium, things like that. If we can find the fuel for it, we could absolutely use these. I think that should be well within the realms of fairness, given the other difficulty we've already thrown ourselves here. So why don't we start setting up something a bit more permanent then? I feel like farming is not really what a predator should be doing. I think we should only be out there getting food. I'm also not going to build an over-complicated or an over-luxurious base either, because they are predators at the end of the day. I don't think that's really uh, don't think that's really in the theme of things. So we've got light leather bedroll. So let's build a couple more of those. Have we got enough just for two more? Not qu Oh, we do. Excellent. Okay, nice. So that's that dealt with. I should really delegate out jobs then if we're going to go for an actual sort of semi-colony. Now... Unlike regular RimWorld, of course, we're not going to be recruiting humans or any any raiders or anything like that because it just will not fit with the theme of things. And also, I think that's a little bit dishonorable. Um, there is an ability to blood humans, though, which is quite interesting. So if we find a friendly human that does something cool, we can we can offer to blood them with their prey. So say we are fighting alongside a human, they kill an alien queen. We can... Was that not in one of the movies? I think it was actually in the movie Alien vs. Predator. We can do that and blood them, and then they'll go and upgrade their mark. Not that there's much, you know, above an alien queen. All right, so what do we want to go for, then? Have we got a good builder? That's the first step. No. Thank you for asking. Oh, God, that's not good, is it? Right, let's get some hunting done. I think fishing. Fishing is fairly okay. That seems like a fairly okay predator thing to do. I mean, it is... We are literally being predators in that situation. Who's our best cook? Uh, they have three skill. Shit, we are gonna die, aren't we? We are gonna die down here. This is not good at all. Maybe we should, uh, also have Shaman do some... Maybe you do repair, you do the construction. Harvesting, growing, I want to try and avoid that if possible. I want to be a bit more nomadic, a bit more predatory, funnily enough. Um, and let's drop all of this. We only need one person doing the machining and fabricating smithing, especially at the size of this colony we've got going on here. Uh, and that way, if we do survive long enough to get other predators turn up, so they turn up once every season, we could send them down to the planet as well. So, uh, to, to come and join our, our base here. And when they, when they succeed, when they're blooded with something that I think, you know, we'll have to be the judge of it when, when something, they kill something cool, whether that is a thrombo, perhaps, then they can go back to the ship and uh, sort of take up a permanent life up there. That'd be kind of interesting. Okay. Um, oh, what's the site found? Okay, there's a spaceship scanning. So we want to start off with then. Um... Let's get a game plan going here. So, firstly, a better base, a more defended base certainly wouldn't hurt. We might even want to move from this site. You know, this might not be a good permanent base. Bear in mind, it's very undefended. That We're not too far away from mountains, are we? Uh, where are we right now? So, we're all the way down here. Um, I would want to move closer to these human cities. I think it'd be cool if we go for, like, somewhere like here, for example. Predators can survive in tropical rainforests fairly easily because they have that, obviously, high tolerance there. Maybe if they're, like, a mountain and a river. Yeah, somewhere like here would be good. Because that way we're also not too far away from the road as well. I think we'll try and move up to here and set up a permanent base here. It's going to be a difficult journey. Uh, oh, there are mountains and river here. It's a shame that river runs out there. Otherwise, that would be perfect if we had mountain and river and road too. But yeah, I think that could be kind of a fun area. Because we could potentially dig our own road. Don't know if I included that mod. But if we have, it doesn't really matter if we haven't either. Because like I said, we've got access to these shot pods and whatever else. I think let's move. I think that's a good idea. If we're going to set up a permanent base, we need something a bit more easy to defend. Because if we have a load of xenom xenomorphs turn up at the base here. We are, I mean, it's just too, it's, it's open plains, Ned. We'd be a fool to fight the Dothraki on an open field like that. So let's pack up. Let's make some, uh, let's make a lot of pemmican. Let's pack our bags and let's, let's, let's start off. I've queued up just a load of pemmican to be made right now. Uh, the rest are all out getting from berry bushes, things like that. There's plenty of berry bushes on the map, so we should be able to make a good amount of pemmican. Why are you so sad? What's wrong with you? Uh, unblooded. I need to prove myself worthy by hunting and killing a worthy foe. So this is another thing as well. As you, uh, as you kill larger things, their mood boost increases. So we could have Wolf prove himself by going off and killing an elephant, maybe. Maybe having them all blood themselves by killing elephants before we head off might be a pretty good idea. That would give a nice, uh, nice permanent mood boost there. So why don't we start with, uh, it's a nice first trial. It's not really what we were after, but hey, it's not too bad. I don't think you can blood yourselves with a capybara. I don't think that would bring much prestige to yourself. Okay, let's go for an elephant then. Let's go and melee attack the elephant. You have to you have to use melee. I don't think you do have to use melee, but I think that should be part of the trial. Do it. Oh no. Now we've aggroed all of the elephants. Welcome to Rimworld. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Every single one of them all at once? 
That's not good. Okay, you, my friend, we're going to give it a wide berth. We're going to run around this river, and then we are going to flee. No, 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 we're not going to flee back in this direction. Hang on, let me... Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, it's very broken. Why is it doing that? Stop, thank you. Okay, there we go. Right, so we're going to run in that direction, and then you're going to leave. Uh, you are definitely not going to follow that move route. You're going to run as far... Why does it keep doing that? Uh, did you see that? Just immediately snap back. Okay, let's try again. Draft, undraft. You're going to run away. Okay, we're good. And where are the other two? Because I feel like we should, uh, we should definitely bring those two into the action as well then. So let's quickly draft these to up, get them somewhere around here. Oh, Jesus. This was a mistake. I just wanted my people to be blooded. Run, little predator. Oh, shit. I think we might lose someone immediately. This was a... Yeah, they are getting apps. Wow. Wow. They've immediately failed the trial. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe in one hit we aggroed every single elephant... And then they instantly died. Okay, uh, this was a poor plan. Fully agreed. Uh, so, Wolf Scar Shaman, let's get up here. And, uh... Pray. <laughs> Shit. It's a capybara from yesterday all over again, but this time it's a little bit more dangerous, I will admit. Okay. Um, as long as we keep moving, we can outpace them. So, as long as we keep moving, it's not going to be a big deal. We've got run and gun. The elephants, last time I checked, don't have ranged weapons. So, we've got that going for us, which is quite nice. And this will blood us. This will allow us to be blooded as uh, elephant killers, I hope. Okay, this this is going to take a long time. Oh, God, you fool. You've made a horrible mistake. You want to keep moving, but stay within range. You want to, like, drag them around one of these ponds, maybe around the mountain or something? That will work out quite well. Oh, wolf. Oh, wolf. Oh, no. Okay, all right. Move, move. Oh, shit. Okay, you almost got caught. Not a problem. Keep moving. Never stop. Never stop. That's, that's the problem here. Okay, how are we doing? That one's almost half dead. Look, we've almost, almost killed one. We've also got to make sure they get a kill each. Otherwise, I don't think they can get blooded from, you know, something that they only contributed to killing rather than killing themselves. Maybe this doesn't work at all because they're fighting in a group. I feel like this isn't very honorable. Wolf, why is it always you? Are you slower than everyone else for a reason? Bite scar on the torso. Adds pain, but that shouldn't affect things too much. Oh, my God. Blooded, unmarked elephant. So we need to kill... Oh, we actually did kill one. Nice. Well done. Holy shit. There we go. Uh, what about you? Nothing and nothing. Wolf is already blooded. So let's try and keep him alive as much as possible. Well, he's unmarked right now, so we have to go up to the elephant and mark ourselves with its uh, with its entrails, basically. Okay, keep moving. Never stop. Apparently an elephant does count as suitable prey, so we've got that going for us. Okay, this was so stupid. It's not very impressive, though, is it, if we're running around shooting them with, you know, powerful spear guns and whatever else. Is this guy blooded? We killed another elephant. Wolf. Oh, shit, counting as wolf again. Damn it. Okay, come on. Wolf, you're stealing all the kills here. It's not fair to your friends. I can't believe we've already lost one. Okay. Right, let's uh, let's turn the speed up a little bit here. Otherwise, we are going to be genuinely here for hours and hours and hours on end. Right, I'm going to ignore that. Speed 2. There we go. We just got to hope we get lucky. I'm not going to try and min-max it. Wolf is always the slowest. That's why it's taking forever. You piss off. Genuinely get out of here. You're going to ruin it for the rest of the team. Okay. Which one of those guys got the kill there, then? Uh, oh, my God. Don't tell me it was Wolf again. It was Wolf again? Oh, my God. Okay. Who got the kill that time? Neither of them. Uh, maybe it didn't count because we didn't actually finish it off. Go and... Uh, melee attack it. No, no, no. Melee attack it just in case the mechanic doesn't work. There we go. Okay, you kill that elephant. You melee attack that one to death. And then Wolf needs to come and blood himself. Use elephant to mark self as blooded. There we go. Very nice. Okay. Did that count? That's the question. It did. That did not. Okay, Scar. Oh, it's because he hasn't actually killed it yet. Come on, please work. I believe in you, Scar. Come on. Jesus Christ, this elephant's... We've done it. We've actually managed to blood some of our predators. Very nice. Now, like I said, that's not that's not really the whole point of things. We do want to try and fight the alien queen. That's the whole thing here. So you are now all blooded, yeah? There we are. Elephant. And that should give a permanent mood boost. Uh, mark elephant plus seven. Very, very nice. Okay. So the three that survived get to move on to the next area. We've got 75 pemmican. We should take the bedrolls with us as well. That should be uh, that should be fairly obvious. So let's get those uninstalled. Goodbye. Yita, you died an unhonorable death. We're going to take your weapons with us as well. Save them going to waste here. So, uh, who doesn't have a melee weapon? You don't. Come and grab this one then. Uh, and let's get you to swap your wooden bow out for a compound bow. We're not going to let this go to waste. Let's see, I think the least we can do here is, a, is, is build a grave, right? We can at least dig a grave before we just abandon this corpse. 
You, you tried. You honestly tried. It, it's, it's a noble effort, but you died in the bloody ritual. 75% success rate. You can't argue with the numbers. That's great. That, that, that's a good success rate. If any school in real life had that graduation, you'd be you'd be set. That would be... Well, I mean, it's not that impressive. Now that I think about it, 75% is not that good. Okay, let's get these bed rolls rolled up. Let's take our pemmican. We've got an absolute mountain of pemmican right now. So let's uninstall these, and then let's, uh, let's head off. Let's pet the pe caravan and leave. We are on a journey to find ourselves a new home, somewhere of a permanent predator base world map let's uh let's pack it up form caravan send these guys off and then we will abandon this one then uh so we want to take the pemmican thank you Might as well, we'll take everything that we can carry take the bed rolls um i did strip the other person but i think it counts as, it does count as tainted so we might as well leave it uh should we take some i mean the meat will rot before we get there i believe uh it's also gonna slow us down very slightly we might as well take it huh why not uh and that'll do. We don't need to take any hides or anything like that. So we want to kind of go for... I think this one is a good start. You know, we can build water mills, things like that. And then if we want to move later on, you know, maybe up into the desert, somewhere a bit more where a predator is a bit more acclimatized to, that could work. Let's do it. Goodbye, my friends. I'm not going to abandon it quite yet because, of course, we've got our ships there. That's that's where we put our ships to touch down on. What I'd like to do, if we ever get to a stage where we can produce some chem fuel, which we should be able to do relatively quickly because, again, we're technologically advanced. We know how to build that stuff. Build some chem fuel, walk back over here, and grab ourselves the uh, grab ourselves the ships, and then transport those ships over to the new base. That's why I kind of want to leave it for the time being. If it gets attacked by raiders, nothing we can really do about that. We'll just have to cut our losses with that one. But it, it, it should still be worth keeping that around. I'm not going to immediately just drop it. What rot, rots in 1.3 days? Yeah, no, all of this stuff is going to rot away, which is a bit of a shame. Of trouble in paradise? Why are you sad? Decompression scar on his brain? Oh, well, that's a bit bad. Um, my friend Gukunkath and my husband Gukunkath died. Oh, no. Okay, that was our blacksmith that got sucked out into space last episode. Unreal. That was because of a prisoner, by the way. The prisoner rebelled and then the airlock opened up and it sucked all the air out and killed one of our guys while they tried to fix it. It's a bit of a mess. Okay, how's the traveling going then? Yep, about a quarter way there. We'll pick this back up when they start getting kind of close to the mountain base. Oh, shit, look at that. We're one... First, uh, first April, mate. There we are. Well, and we're like 0.3 days away, so that means we've had two new predators just turn up in a brand new spaceship, Scar and Spartan, who are going to go get themselves immediately equipped with probably better gear straight away. There we go. So if we want to ship these guys down to the planet, we absolutely could. Uh, I'm not really sure I want to leave another cargo shuttle... You know, just on the planet randomly, though, because these things are obviously quite, quite expensive. But that's cool. That's cool that we got two new guys turn up. Okay, so they'll just settle into regular life, I guess. I'm going to leave them. I'm not going to bother with their, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to bother with their jobs or anything like that. It's not relevant. The, the spaceship is automatic. It, it just deals with its own stuff now. Right, so 0 0.2 days, and then we should be getting to the mountain. We're just basically waiting for the sun to come up at this stage. Really glad I built those bedrolls as well, so we're not immediately moving into a new base on the, on, you know, the wrong foot there. Ah, now here's one thing I didn't think about. If we want to settle, we have to abandon the other base. So, to be honest, I'm fine. It's a cost to doing business with it, really. Should have uh, should have really planned this out a little bit better to start off with, but I feel like this is definitely the right play. Now, let's go ahead and abandon it, then. Goodbye, old colony. Abandoned settlements. So now, we should be able to set up another one here. Now, I have checked the terrain details on this, and it does include caves. Now, that I'm, I would normally try and avoid that, because obviously they're quite dangerous, especially for just leaving your colonists not fully attended at all times. They can end up walking into the caves, getting themselves killed. Same applies to visitors, things like that. However, in this situation, we might actually want to fight mega scarabs and mega spiders so that we get the... Uh... Oh! <gasps> there's xenomorphs. Oh my god, there's xenomorphs. Um, I'll be honest, I didn't know that was a thing. Holy shit, they're... Runners, warriors, we've got large xenomorph tunnel. Dormant not expanding. I had no idea that was a mechanic. Okay. Uh well, we found our we found our prize then. We found our we found things to hunt. Okay, let's be very, very careful about this. So this is where we're gonna set up new ground, and it seems like a perfectly good ground to hunt on. Why don't we leave the xenomorph tunnels intact? Try and trap them in, maybe? Use them for like block this tunnel off here. We can't block that one off, obviously, but block this one too. Interesting. Well they actually actively come for us. Are they like insects that they only stay near their base by the looks of it? Oh, wow, that's interesting. Um, so the question is, where do we want to set up a base? I'm thinking about in here. We've got the geothermal generator. We're quite well defended. Lots of mountains that we could uh, obviously block over there. If enemies come for us, they're going to cross the river. And then, of course, we've got the river itself, which we can defend. I also like the look of this cave system. That could be quite fun. We've, we'd have to... Oh, actually, it's technically defended on this side. Look. So we can move in here and, and set up inside this cave. That'd be fairly interesting. Yeah, I might do that. Because it's also, you know, fairly well defended in terms of the map itself. Like, enemies coming up here, we can block off there, force them to come through the river. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. And that's how we did the hardcore jump series as well, don't forget, is, is living on a river really did help defend from some of these merciless raiders that we were fa facing. So, if it ain't broke. I do want to take out a couple of these animals, so I feel a little bit uneven. What the hell are they doing? 
They're trying to expand their tunnel, huh? Don't... I mean, look at how cool the assets are in this mod, though. They all fit the RimWorld theme so perfectly. Like, genuinely, that's really, really nice to see. What are they doing? They're just digging themselves some tunnels, huh? Let's keep an eye on that. I don't want to suddenly, you know, wake up and see a Xenomorph Queen kicking around or something like that. Okay. Um, so, we're going to be very, very careful about how we transform our, or transfer our resources over to the base. Oh, fishing as well. That's another good reason to live by the river. Okay. So, this, this whole thing, this is ours now. Thank you. Uh, we're, we're officially in Predator Zone. Okay. Um... I don't really know how to do this. I'm going to be honest. We're going to be very careful. So I'm going to manually have them pick up whatever the hell we can. Uh, and we don't want to get into a fight with these animals either because they will be very dangerous, obviously. Okay, pick up this one. You grab just whatever you can whatever you can carry at this stage. Let's see what we can get. There we go. Uh, and then you pick up that one as well. There we go. So we just got to get one more meal. And that's everything. Careful. This bit especially is where we have to navigate a bit more cautiously than we normally would. I had no idea caves did that. That was like a really, really nice coincidence. I just thought it would be mega scarabs or whatever, but no. Instead, we've got uh, instead we've got a bit of an infestation we have to worry about. Maybe build up the front door, things like that. Okay, here we go. And I might even limit the area they can go into if that's the case. Okay, let's build a base. We've got access to quite a lot of wood nearby. Now, I've specifically set them up in a, an allowed area here just very quickly inside the mountains so that we can mine basically whatever we feel like. Obviously, I don't want to mine right to the map edge in case we accidentally open up a big entrance to the map. We can mine up here fairly safely. But again, we don't want to get too close to this other xenomorph nest there. They're so creepy. I like really well done. I wonder what that means by dormant not expanding. I wonder what will... Uh, if I activate, it will spawn. I wonder what causes it to activate. That's my real question. Whether or not that will, uh, or whether it's not like, like insect hives just on the map anyway. It's like just a passive thing that spits out a couple of xenomorphs. Maybe if these guys die, it spits out another one. Not sure. But we'll keep it, we'll keep a close eye on it anyway. Okay, so let's get some wood immediately and just build a front door. That, that definitely couldn't hurt some other furniture, things like that. How are we gonna get food? I don't particularly fancy going out and hunting while we've got these guys kicking around, unless we do it very carefully. We could always plant some crops, but again, I don't feel it's a very predator thing to do. Fishing, right, of course. How do we fish? I'm using a new fishing mod I never tried out before. So Vanilla Expanded uh, also released a, a, a sort of own equivalent of fishing mod there. How do we do that? Um, I'll find it somewhere. Ship, temperature, structure, production. It might be under structure, I guess. Uh, oh, fishing zone. Ah, okay, cool. Um, so I guess we'll, we'll do it down here. That way it should be a little bit more... Defended from the xenomorphs. We'll do it some, somewhere like that just so we're a bit more careful about things. Okay. Um, and how does that work? I guess we just mark them as being able to fish and they'll just go and fish. If that's the case, then... Uh, oceanic fishing, no. Oh, look at that. Allow fishing, yes. Uh, the zone is set to catch fish of size medium. We can get bass, eel, trout, koi, perch, and piranha. Oceanic fishing zone, no. So I guess that means it's probably a more, more of a limited stock. Not entirely sure. Let's keep an eye on things. Oh, there we go. They just go and fish. Oh, that's interesting. Takes a long time, though, so we've got to be very careful about how we, uh, about how we set this, this particular job. So we might actually want to lower that down below, to be honest, below mining as well couldn't hurt, but not as low as cleaning. I'd rather them be fishing than cleaning at the end of the day. Okay, what if we can do it until we hit a certain amount of fish as well? It's genuinely taking him hours and hours to get that. How much did we get out of that, then? So let's drop that on the floor. Uh, we did get... Oh, we got four koi, so you don't just get one fish. That actually could be very good. Obviously, it, 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 it's going to be determined by the amount that one fish turns into meat. So if, if four koi only makes, like, four meat, for example, that's not very good at all. But bear in mind, if you butcher, like, even, like, a monkey, you get 25 meat out of it, something like that. So... I've got this guy getting ready to build. I want to uh, sort of obviously build the main entrance there and also fortify this area a little bit. That might be an ancient danger. It looks a little bit small to be an ancient danger. So we'll see how that fares. And then I think a bit more technology in the base certainly couldn't hurt. We have access to a lot of technology. One thing I would love to build is obviously the Yorkshire machining table so that we can build our our weapons and armor. Oh, we've got components there. We've got a lot of components kicking around actually. Have we got any steel inside the base? We do. Very nice. Look at that. Okay, cool. So we can we can do some things like that. We've got uh oh we've got gold and we've got compacted steel there too. Some more components. There's plenty of steel obviously down towards the river. We want to kind of avoid going down there if possible. Uranium. Hey, certain sh spaceship parts take uranium. I think it's just the the big ship though that will take that for the time being. We'll have to build some dedicated bedrooms too. Mood management is gonna be the important thing to start off with. Excuse me. Xenomorph egg. Oh my god, they they're actually already <gasps> No way, they actually the, the hive just turns out they don't even need a queen. It would just drop eggs, I guess, if the uh, if the size of it is big enough. So these guys have actually watched the aliens a little bit in... You know, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. Hopefully we'll see it for ourselves as the episode goes on here. Man, that's crazy. So they can just drop xenomorph eggs? We need to be very, very careful about where our colonists walk. Because if we accidentally walk into those tunnels... This guy's getting quite far away from the base, isn't he? Okay, that we also need to be cautious of. It looks like the warriors stay very close to the base, but the runners... 
seems to be a bit more free. Now, runners are obviously spawned when a xenomorph egg uh, attaches itself to an animal. So any boomalotes, for example, capybaras, monkeys might be a little bit too small, but it probably will also produce a runner. Warriors are humans. Uh, as a rule of thumb, and then obviously uh, predators, for those of you who haven't seen the films, will become a, a distinct, depending on what the parasite takes as a host, will make different breeds of aliens. So a predator will be a different breed. Again, the strongest and most powerful of them, uh, I believe, will probably end up fighting besides the queen itself. So be very careful about that. As I recall as well, if there isn't a queen, one of these eggs will turn into a royal egg. So we also need to keep a very close eye on that too, so that we don't accidentally unleash a queen. Maybe we want to do it on purpose. Maybe we want to drag a human, perhaps, just right outside of here. You know, build, put down a, a, a prison tending spot, something like that. Wolf, come on. Let's, <laughs> what the hell are you doing, my man? Right, let's install these, uh, let's install these beds then and kind of take shelter in this cave overnight before we can build something a little bit more luxurious than this. This is a bit shit. I'll admit, constantly having the combat music is throwing me off. Well, that's one thing I didn't consider is that Raiders turn up might also have to deal with the Xenomorphs, which uh, loosely translates to Raiders that turn up might end up feeding the Xenomorph hives and causing them to grow in number, which we'll have to worry about. Haha. <laughs> anyway, I've, I've sort of planned out a very brief, basic base here. So we're going to dig out the three bedrooms. This area is going to be a freezer. That way we can vent it straight out the front door. Build a kitchen just sort of in this zone as well. Like I said, it's going to be a very basic... Uh, very down to earth base that just keeps their mood high. Uh, well, not necessarily high, but just so they don't have any negative moved impacts from living in a cave, because that's generally not the nicest place to live. So we also need to deal with power quite soon as well. Um, hopefully as we dig through this, we'll pick ourselves up some steel, some components, whatever else, but so we're basically starting with nothing. This is very similar to the, uh, to not, not, it's not exactly naked brutality, because of course you've got weapons. I won't say armor because the helmet barely does anything, as we saw with the elephant, um, but we've got weapons and that's, that's really it. No skills to speak of though, which is a bit of a shame. It's going to take quite a while, so uh, I'll, I'll leave them to do this and sort of just keep a keep a close eye on the aliens. What the hell happened there? Keep a close eye on the aliens. Make sure this doesn't get out of hand. Oh my god, there's not so many. Wait, what? I don't care. I've decided I don't care anymore. Ignore the spaceship. Everything's going horribly wrong over there. I'm not saying I might encourage the Xenomorphs to kidnap a human and turn it into a queen, but it might be a legitimate tactic for... We've got to keep an eye on that runner. It is, it is uh, kind of straying from the base quite far. It might actually be a legitimate tra tactic to fulfill our endgame goal of obviously slaying a queen. So we might have to... Uh, we might have to encourage them along a little bit. We might have to find a way to help that out. But I'm keeping an eye on the eggs, seeing if any are turning into a royal egg. But none as of yet. Hopefully this rat will fuck off into their nest too. Get out of here. Can't believe how quickly they're all giving up. What's wrong with you? You get to live in a lovely cave. Trapped indoors, constraining clothes. Oh my god, this one's a nudist. Well, that's not going to help fighting aliens, is it? Uh, uncomfortable, my friend. Your eater died in slightly environment. Darkness, that probably... That's a fair point. Actually, the darkness I never considered. Let's get some lamps down. Otherwise, mining this place out, it's going to take, obviously, 50 times as long. Let's get a torch lamp down in there. We'll put one there and there. Just to help speed up the initial things there. Wolf, come on. We need you here. Wolf, Wolf is our builder, by the way. Thank God. Honestly, you know what? Shout out to Scar for keeping it together for more than five minutes. There we go. They've all kind of woken up a little bit, right? Let's get some uh, Let's get some light in here. Sorry, before you sleep, I do want to quickly make sure that... Actually, he's he should be in a fairly good mood because it's obviously of, of, of the catharsis. So why don't we use this time while he isn't at risk of any more mental breaks to very quickly build some, build some seats, build something to do, you know, some recreation, things like that. Oh my God. And even with his... He's got seven craft skills. It's still taking this long. I guess that's partially down to the darkness as well. You know, being in a whole cave thing. Right, let's get this done. Just they've got a tiny little bit of recreation. I know it's not much, but it will help out a small amount. But there we go. Moods are getting a little bit higher there. So were you the other one that was... Uh... Yeah, so Catharsis is going to be very high on Shaman and Wolf. As long as we keep Scar happy. And they seem to be a lot more happier about things just overall. This is going to be okay. This is going to be a bit more manageable. So they're going to start on... So let's get this... Let's get at least one bedroom finished. So that way they're not going to be get the negative from the uh, awful barrack modifier. Are we got enough... Uh... We got enough wood for that. I should really shrink this zone down so it's not like absolutely everywhere because it's making management a little bit harder, I will admit. Right, let's go roll that crap too. There we are. Okay, so we need to go and get a bit more wood. It might be worth just sending everyone outside to go and get wood at the same time to get them out of the cave for a day or so. Um, oh, yikes. I think we have to go exploring for a bit more wood. We have to go across the river. That's dangerous. I'm not a fan of that. Um, if we're going to go anywhere to get wood, we'll, we'll go over here where things are a little bit more safe. We need to be very, very careful about going over into the... Uh, or anywhere near this cave entrance here, specifically. 
There, I think that should be a relatively safe way to allow them across the river, and also potentially for hunting as well. Um, we can avoid kind of going up there, but I, I don't mind them being in this area too. Obviously, there's no caves, no xenomorphs to worry about, so we can end up killing some elephants. Obviously, the map edges are where new enemies are going to spawn, or new uh, animals are going to spawn in. So we'll take all of this zone as well. Um, oops, don't do that one. There we go. Okay, so we'll just try and grab as much there as possible without running any unnecessary risk. Right, we saw the runner come all the way down here. It might get line of sight from quite far away, so I'm going to be very, very careful of how we handle this. All right, pretty successful trip then. I think we've got enough wood now to uh, to be able to build the bedrooms that we need. 395. I'll, I'll get some permanent beds, some dresses, things like that. Whatever will maximize comfort in this scenario is going to be necessary. Look at that. He's even having a nice time playing horseshoes. Unreal. Okay. Uh, heat waves over. I didn't even notice it started, to be honest. Did that even affect the xenomorphs at all? Have uh, they got like a... What's the temperature range? 150 to minus 30. Okay. Uh, they've also got 255 immune to gain speed. Oh, they dropped their own unique type of leather. That's interesting. Um... That could be very, very useful for building armor and things like that, Elf. Because I imagine that'd be quite difficult to uh, to penetrate, huh? Uh, armor sharp blending heat is obviously quite reasonable. Quite high for an animal, especially. Holy shit, wow. Do they drop meat? What meat do they drop? Uh, 90. I wonder if it's a very specific type of meat that we definitely shouldn't eat. I have really no idea. Okay. I'll be honest, the game is being super, super generous to us as well. To say that we've had no raids, and we are definitely still... Yeah, we're definitely still playing on Randy Merciless here. It's just decided to throw nothing at us right now. So, we've got very, very fortunate with things. Maybe moving around bases quite a lot has helped too. Um, I'm also not entirely sure how the wealth is calculated. Maybe it is based on settlement rather than... Let's look at history. No, it almost certainly is not. Oh my god, that's a lot of wealth. We've only had one incident so far as well. Is this what Ramon is like when you're not playing with the wave-based survival? You mean there is actually times of peace where you can build up your base? Unreal. Maybe that was a really good series to play before we got into something like this, which is obviously a bit more of the, uh, bit more of the, bit more on the hardcore, but closer to base game style Rimworld. Oh, <gasps> they actually got a fucking elephant. No way. I wish I could have seen that. Cocooned? And it's in deep sleep? Z Xenomorph embryo. What the hell comes out of an elephant? That's what we have to ask ourselves here. I know there are some unique... It did kill the runner, though, which is interesting. I know there are some unique animals as well that can spawn out of... Uh, that, that Xenomorphs can spawn out of. So, say, for example, if they take an elephant, it might be different to if they take Capybara. I know there are some that confirmed. I don't want to spoil that either. I Hopefully, hopefully we will see that as we go on. My God, I can't believe they've got an elephant of all things. So, we'll keep a close eye on this. So, what, what happens is, obviously, the eggs will hatch. They'll spawn a facehugger. Facehugger attacks the elephant implants it with the egg then eventually oh i don't know if you saw that then elephant is collapsing is withering around something is wrong boom little tiny chest burster there it is tiny little uh tiny little xenomorph embryo and that will uh, eat the body whatever else disappears into the surroundings and then it will come back as and you can see in this case it, it, it does say runner so i guess this is uh it'll be the same as that uh, that uh that xenomorph there that's cool they actually did get one though Wow, an elephant of all things, too. To be honest, if it had been something smaller, that would be bad news for us because it wouldn't have replaced the uh, runner that it killed off. We'd have just had an extra one to worry about. Bedroom's down. That's a pretty nice start. That should help uh, mitigate some of these move. Oh, God. Shaman's about to freak out. What's wrong with you, honestly? Ah, uh, recreation star. Jealous of Scar's bedroom. You know what? Shut up in that case. Right, give that to Shaman. That should hopefully cheer him up. Ah. Uh, what do you mean? How is this one any better than that one? Is it because it's slightly, this one's slightly cleaner? Is that what you're worried about? Wait, this is Scar's bedroom. Oh, he's got a chest set. You fucking weird man. What a, what a strange boy, right? Let's get that reinstalled in here then. That should, uh, you know what? I'm not going to bother. It, it'll, it'll just have to, it'll just have to freak out. What else we got? Awful Barrett. That's obviously we're going to deal with in a second. Unsightly Barrett. We're about to deal with that in a second. Darkness as well. We put down a torch very quickly. It'll help with their mining speed too. So let's get Scar to work on that basically right away. As far as we've got any wood left, how much we've got left? 60 now. He's botched it three times. He's botched it four times. Are you kidding me? There we go, finally. What oh, was he not our builder? That's my bad, I'm so sorry. What was our builder? Right, it's Wolf. That's that's completely my fault, my god. I was gonna say, how unlikely is it to have like seven construction and botch a torch four times? Why don't we send some of these guys out to go and get some more wood then to avoid the whole cabin fever thing just to cheer them up very, very slightly. Also, we'll deal with the darkness debuff, whatever else. Right, let's go and get these. Uh, the trees are growing fairly fast. I suppose because the map is mostly mountains and river, huh? And then let's come and grab... Oh, wow, look at all that. That's growing so fast. So it looks as if the runners don't aggro or anything. Um, oh, they do aggro. Well, there's me saying, oh, it looks as if they don't go out and actively hunt. So what happens? Is he going to try and knock it down and take it back to his base? Let's keep an eye. Oh, no, he just kills it and that's it. Oh, I thought he would try and capture it and bring it back. Maybe they will if they actually knock it down. They'll drag it back to base. Let's keep a close eye on things. Okay, stuns it. I want to know the mechanics of, about how they work. Okay, so he stunned it. So he just goes and stuns it and that's it. You thought he would drag it back to the base. I have... Oh, he... 
There's another warrior. Where the fuck did that one come from? That's from the other base. Oh my god, they can move around quite far then. So that warrior is taking it back to the hive. And then they'll leave it on the floor because it's stunned. The face hugger will come out and grab it. There we are. Parasite attaches itself to the alpaca's head. And that will produce another alien to worry about. Fantastic. Oh, so they work together. Wow, okay. So the warriors, the runners will go out and do the damage. And then the warriors will come and come and drag it back to the base and cocoon it. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, we need to be very, very careful then. Holy shit, I had no idea they could roam like that. Maybe we should destroy this one. Maybe we should destroy this tunnel. I feel like that's probably the safest thing to do here. Squad up, boys. You, you sick of your cabin fever? We're going to take out some aliens. Oh, well, we actually hit it from that distance. Holy fuck. Okay, let's go for it again then. Take him down. Got to be very careful not to let this thing get too close. Otherwise, it'll absolutely rip us apart. And the other one has been aggroed. Holy shit. It's like it heard it. All right. Um, you've got to be so careful about how we deal with this then. You fire at this one. You also fire at this one because that one's much, much closer than the other one, which is obviously heavily injured at this stage. They also drop acidic blood, for those of you who don't know. So that will uh, that will be pretty lethal if that gets too close here. Oh, shit. Okay, so we're going to get too close. Oh, my God, we took it out. Nice work. Wow, very impressive. Okay, let's let's, uh, let's line up here. Now, if we take out this nest, we've got to be very careful we don't accidentally set off these eggs. If we set off the eggs, we're, we're fucked. Like, we're, we're going to get, uh, we're going to obviously get grabbed by the alien then. And then if we get grabbed, that will produce an even worse alien. Like, the worst we could possibly be finding at this stage of the game. Okay, take this carefully. Okay, it's down. Let's make sure it's finished off too. Can we blood ourselves with a... Can we blood ourselves with a xenomorph? Is that better than a... Uh, I don't know if we're allowed to. Uh, that one can't. I, I imagine maybe a, maybe a, an elephant is better. I'm not I'm not sure. We've got the kill. I guess it doesn't count. Uh, what if I unforbid it? Hang on, let's try again. Uh, no accessible slot. Well, someone's going over there. Moving, good. I might have accidentally sent to move over there. Yeah, I don't know if we're allowed to uh, to blood ourselves with a xenomorph. I guess an alien, uh, sorry, an elephant counts as, as better. We'll send Scar down just to give it a go. Maybe if he kills him by himself, it might... Oh my god, this is unreal. Are you alright? Hunter camp, yeah, that's fine. There we go. Right, did that did that count as a... No. The, the, the elephant is actually better. Right, fair enough then. Okay. So how are we going to deal with this hive? I think we could just... Oh, shit. Maybe we can shoot the eggs from a distance. I'm going to be so careful here. What the hell are they firing at? Oh my god, the runners come all the way down. Has it aggroed the other warrior too? No, it's just that that runner has, has somehow found us here. Right, be careful. Take this slowly. Can you fire up those eggs from here? We can't quite get line of sight. Let's move over very slightly. We'll be very careful about how we approach this. Okay, it looks like we can smash the eggs from a distance if we're careful. I'm not sure how close we can get before the eggs will actually wake up. So that's something else I'm going to be wary of. I assume that doesn't count as higher tier than elephant. I would assume not. No, okay. Right, let's get these guys up here to smash these eggs, and then we'll shut this one down. Maybe we can even destroy the tunnel itself. That would help out. Okay, careful. Careful. Steady. Okay, not too close. Not too close. Let's take this very, very... Oh, the eggs are quite easy to smash then. Okay, not too close. Let's keep it. Keep some distance. Use our, use our guns. Okay, let's turn the speed up a little bit because I think we're probably fairly safe here. Okay. My god, this is this is horrible. Can we destroy the tunnel? We can destroy the tunnel, but we are obviously destroying a tunnel, so it's going to be... Uh, going to take quite some time here. Okay, there we go. There's a couple more eggs, and then this area is then officially safe. We could go take out the other hive... But I kind of want to leave it there. I kind of want to leave it there because it might be the only way we can actually try and actually kill the queen eventually. Very nice. Done. And that was definitely all the egg smash too. Very good. Okay. Might have nothing to worry about then. So we should probably also take the bodies because I imagine we can do a lot of things with them. Maybe butcher the uh, xenomorph. See what we can make out of their armor maybe. I think the other warrior heard us. Yeah, it's coming down. Okay. Let's be careful about how we do this then. I don't mind leaving the hive intact, but I'm not going to... Oh no, it seems to be turning around. I didn't want to... Like I said, I want to take the bodies back to the base. He fucking off again. I guess now that he's, uh, he should go back to the thing now that we've dealt with the last of his, uh, now that we've dealt with the last of that tunnel. I imagine it's just while we were attacking the tunnel, it'll come over, kind of similar to how mechanoids operate. There we go. Okay, so we'll leave that nest there. That can be our hunting grounds just to test out weapons, whatever else. We're going to be very careful about how we handle things, though. I want to get these bodies hauled back, because I think they could have a lot of, uh, a lot of useful things. I know we could definitely be able to shield out of it, if nothing else. But I think we'll also leave Spartan on the ship for the time being, just because I don't want to send down, have we got baby polar bear? Huh. Okay, let's just, let's, again, don't worry about what's going on in the spaceship. I was going to say we'll send down Spartan as well, but given that right now we're building a permanent base, if, if all of these predators were to die, we could send Spartan down to keep the base running. You know, say things catch fire, we could send him down to go and put the fire out, or we could just generally keep him there to keep the lights on, make sure that it's powered, whatever else, uh, to, to defend the base more importantly, keep it maintained, whatever else, till we get our next shipment of of predators turning up. I want to be very careful about how we handle this. The last thing I want to do is have everyone die and not be able to send anyone else down until next season.
I don't know that we've got quite enough wood to finish this one off, but I think we'll start laying some bedroom floors and build some furniture, and then we'll leave that there for today. We've got a very basic, like I said, I don't want to be too crazy with the predator space. We can put down some advanced tech if we get it, but I want it to be quite ascetic. It doesn't seem right that we'd have predators living in this, uh, like, crazy luxury base with all sorts of weird little furniture and whatnot else. So, uh, we'll see how this goes. I think we are going to run out of wood. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we're going to get a little bit more then. But hey, that's that's pretty good. That's a good start. Like a semi-permanent base. We took out a Xenomorph 5. We've got the other one to deal with. They haven't expanded very much. I think they're having difficulty uh, getting some animals in. Strange fungus. What is that? Okay. Uh, right. Let's watch out for that. Because if that's what I think it is, that could cause us one or two. I don't know what it is. Because we've got many mods. So it could be from a few different things. But if I know Alien, uh, that, that could be a problem. We'll keep a very close eye on that. I also want to keep an eye on other animals that happen to walk across that as well. In the meantime, though, thank you all for watching. We kind of have a bit of a game plan now. We might have to engineer our own. Actually, one of the scenarios to get with the Alien vs. Predator mod is to um, build a temple for a, a ritual. That's apparently something predators do in, in one of the movies. Uh, they, they have this big ritual whereby humans are impregnated with the eggs, and then the, the predators have to hunt down the aliens, and that's how they get blooded. We've killed elephants, which apparently counts as more impressive. Not really sure about that one. Um, but there we go. Nice work. Thank you all for watching. Again, like I said, this is only going to be a short series. So the second we kill that queen, we're probably going to be done with things. I'll, I want to think of something better for the future for this. Uh, it, I know it's still kind of an early, still work in progress mod. Some of the features being added as we go along. But it's it's a cool early look at what I think is an incredibly promising mod in, you know, any any sci-fi franchise fits really, really well into Remod. And this is certainly no exception. Thank you to the patrons for making this series possible in the first place. Don't forget, if you guys have got names for predators, feel free to chuck those at me. I'll, I'll do some official name collection tomorrow, uh, seeing as we've got three, I think, fairly reliable and hopefully long-lasting predators. Now, I'm glad I didn't do it before today's episode, given that, that first one died in about two seconds. Thank you to the following insane top-tier level patrons, including Alchemia, Anthony Gully, Asuna Kurtzow, Atmos, and Savage Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Bellic Strombo, Ben Hoffman, Chesty, Croesus, Chris, Derek, DKO, Donald, Fukuna Vasquez, Gogolus, Harik, Harry McGowan, Iguana Squad, James Shea, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Nostrus, Necrofell, and Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Scott, Scads, Slippy Nips, Somnus, Shea, The One Ring, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McClam, Vacuous Backus, Varagon, and William Green. Thank you all for your support the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible in the first place. And a big thank you as well goes out to Uwu Daddy, Astro, and in person, Adrian Elliason, Alex Bogard, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Astro, Attila, Betamus Max, Better Valerian, Blood for the Blood God, Brittany Lee, Buen Gun, Chris, Corgi Circus, Dapper Go, Don, Dunk Honey Tumor 7, Emerald Beam, Foosh, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Circa, Gothamo, Grey, Haji Dumar, I am Sagatair, I see the Great, Erotha, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jebus Cross, Duran DeVries, Jessica Smith, Jobs Lucky Sister, Jelly Vondel, Joseph Beer, Justin Rules, Justin Plock, Justin Waters, Kevin Saunders, Lepus, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Manuel Bosich, Mustolp, Monty, Mosey Sampson, Munda Difflin, My Name Isn't Dio, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Olivia Kaiser, Organized Confusion, Pan Samu, Panthpel, Peyton Denisar, Kamar Ishmael, Bright Ace, Russian Oligarch Billionaire, Brian Hooper, Sam Kier, Scaps, Shardul, Silkworm, Smirtworm, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Supernanny0089, Sweet C Talar, Tony Laban, Volta, Voodoo Mumbo, Boyd, Boyd Prince Kibo, Will Wade, Wilson Atef, Yellow 4, Yorkus, Zach, and Zetlock 2. Thank you guys for your support over at Patreon. Thanks to all of the new patrons as well. I'll have to get these lists updated again because my god, it's been insane recently. So I will make sure that's all updated for tomorrow and see you guys. I mean, tomorrow. Same, same time, same place.